on the screencast, I'm going to quickly and hopefully painlessly show you how to add in this Excel create Excel add-in that I created uh, that will automate the translation of worksheets. So the idea is that um, it takes the data from the worksheets, sends it to Google Translate using the Google Translate API, and then creates a new worksheet with the translated content. And for this, you'll need a Google API key. I explained that in my blog. So let's just get right to it. So first thing to do is download the add-in. So you go to my blog, that's uh, shafiqjamal.blogspot.com, and then just look for the entry um, that says MS Excel VBA script to translate worksheets using Google Translate API. Yeah. And then click on this here, in the update, and um, that will you download the Excel add-in. So then download it. And we'll save it. And I think you can put it anywhere, but uh, I think Excel likes to have it in a certain particular directory. So since there's C users and then the username, app data, roaming. Uh, let's expand this. Uh, Microsoft. Uh, and add in. I think that's where it likes to have it. So then we'll click save. And then we'll click save. And then so that should be there. Let's just see if it can be used. Well, I'm sure it is. Okay, so let's go back to Excel. And what we're going to do is going to be file options. Add-ins, and so it's not here. So we're just going to go to the Add-ins Manager, go, and then it's not here either. So let's go browse, and uh, well, let's go back to. Oh, it automatically put us in the Microsoft Add-ins uh, directory. So here it is, and okay to add it, and there it is. What well, Google Translate API of November twenty seventh. Doesn't fall. Okay, so let's do that. Now, once you have this add in, there's a shortcut key, Control Shift T, to uh, to activate it. So let's put some test text in here. So uh, hello there, there, big bird. Now let's do it all once up. Hello there, big bird. And then we'll put some numbers here. It doesn't send the numbers to Google Translate, but it does copy them over with the, uh, with the formatting. So let's just format some things here. Let's make this bold, underline in italic. Make this just bold. Make this underline. Make this one uh, big. And let's make this one even bigger. And then we can, uh, yeah, let's highlight it too, maybe yellow. Okay, and so let's activate our Google Translate. Control Shift T. So the from language, we could have I could have set this up with auto detect, but you have to pay a little bit more. So I'll just make it so you have to enter the source language, English. Let's translate, language. Let's translate into French. And now I'm going to paste my Google Translate API key, and uh, that you can find out more about by just googling Google Translate API. Okay, so let's click OK to see it go. Now it's created a new worksheet called sheet one underscore fr the destination is fresh. So there you can see that it uh, translated and copied. Um, also, uh, bonjour, grand. Well, that wasn't a very good translation, though, was it? Uh, all in the same worksheet. But at least it went over and, and it, uh, it copied the formatting and stuff too. Let's see what this is. Hello there. Oh, it's because I spelled there wrong. That's, that's unfortunate. So let's just try and uh, you know, like let's delete that. Actually, we don't even have to delete it. We can just leave it. Uh, I'm just going to I'm just going to fix this. Hello, hey, not here. So hello, there, big big, a big bird. Let's try that. Now let's do. Uh, let's go from English. 
French, and it deletes the old sheet and then creates a new one. Bonjour, à grand oiseau, oiseau, oui, c'est ça. And there you have it. And the Google Translate API, yeah, you can find out more about that by just going to, well, Google, yeah. Google Translate API. Yeah. Um, so, you know, you can go to Google Translate, uh, translate.google.com, and then uh, translate that way. You can go to translate.google.com slash toolkit, and you can upload stuff. Uh, uh, to translate. Now, if you just want to write a program that will pick bits and pieces and send them to Google Translate, get the translate and send it back, then um, if you're a programmer and you want to do that, then this is the site that you want to go to. Okay, and you can learn more about it there. And you can just click on Developer's Guide and then whatever. So, I hope you guys find this useful and uh, please do leave comments on my blog. Love to hear from anyone that might have actually watched this. Take care. Thanks. Bye.